So can you stay focused? Do you stay focused? Hi, it's Bill. It's Creative License. And hi, thanks for being a part of my dog and pony show. And of course, these being the cool version of the show. <laughs> I'm on vacation and while I'm here, I thought I would record a couple of things. And one of the things that, uh, that came clear to me that I thought I wanted to talk about was the idea of staying focused when you're doing your job, right? You, you, you take your microphone and you step out in front of people and then the distractions around you have to kind of dissipate, right? You have to be able to do this job without being distracted away from what you have to do because, hey, you know, people are trying to do it. I, I, and I, I don't know about you, but whenever, whenever I take the mic and I step out in front of the audience, the first thing I have is someone over me going, hey, man, hey, hey. I'm saying, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the evening. And hey, man, hey, 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 buddy, hey, can you play? Can you play Elton John? And I'm in the middle of A, and we're about to be introducing the bride, the groom, the, the wedding party. And hey, man, I want to talk to you. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, number one, the first thing I want to do, and I've done this before, which, now keep in mind, I'm going to tell you what I did, but I, this is not a good idea. You know, I've stopped right in the middle and go, oh, well, hold on, sir, yes, sir. You need my attention immediately, even though I'm talking to 300 people. What would you want? What, would, what do you need that is going to interrupt everything that's happening in the flow of the evening, sir? What do you want? And here's the microphone. Embarrass him. Make him feel like a fool. That's not a good idea. It's not nice. So the professional keeps himself together, okay? Stays focused on what's necessary to do and then moves through it and, and all the distractions either goes away or you find a way to make sure that what you're doing uh, integrates with what he wants from you so he can become a part of the thing instead of just humiliating him to tell him to shut up, shut up because, hey, you know, it's kind of like a heckler, right? You know, hecklers, they should be shut up. Right? So instead of doing that, you need to learn how to keep your focus and stay on the course. And that's hard to do. So being prepared is really important. Knowing exactly what you're doing, how you're doing it, and how you're going to get from point A to point B before you step out there. Because you never know if it's going to happen. And it hardly ever does. But when it does and you lose your train of thought, all of a sudden you can feel like a fool. So staying focused is really important. And, and, uh, and, and you need to practice that. You need to find people that will come and, and attach themselves to you when you when you rehearse someone who, who can get out in front of you and say hey man hey hello how you doing oh no no I got you come on let's do this you gotta have those people that will help you practice I got really good at it in the radio because we used to be mean to each other I don't know if you worked in radio but um, when I used to do I, one of the first stations I worked at uh, I worked the news and the news was in a separate studio. It had a studio here for the DJ who was playing the music, and then and now it's time for Bill Herman with the news. And there's a, a pane of glass that you watch me, and I'm over here, and I've got a microphone, and I'm talking into this microphone, and the DJ is over here. Well, their job, or not their job, but what they would always do is try to get my attention. They would they would jump around, they would they would make a lot of f funny faces, they would bang on the window. One time they even came in while I was doing the news, and they set my news copy on fire while I was doing the news. Now, if that doesn't keep, if that's not a practice to keep you focused, <laughs> I don't know what is. Because you can't go, ah, and run out of studios in the middle of the news. You gotta stay focused, you gotta keep moving forward. So that practice, uh, that kind of silliness was a great uh, boot camp to be able to be sure I did my job. Now you don't necessarily wanna do that. Not in a live situation, not when you're getting paid. But it did help me a lot. Now, how did I know I was going to talk to you about this today? Especially when I'm down here on vacation and I'm messing around. Because I did record one of these just a little while ago. And while I was doing it, over there <laughs> on the patio by the room where we are, my wife came out. She saw I was on this. And she uh, she uh, she distracted me. She... <laughs> I don't know, if you go back to next last week and you watch last week, you'll see my wife was trying to distract me. You did not see what she did. And if I told you what she did, she'd kill me. But I was being distracted. And I still kept my cool. How about you? Are you good at that? Do you practice that? Do you know how to do it? Can you keep your cool and move forward the script 
and do what you need to do. I'd like to know. Write down what you know. Write down, uh, uh, tell me what you think of this. Maybe, maybe this, this isn't something you worry about. I'd like to know. I'm Bill. This is Creative License, and I'll see you next week. Bye.